Hi, Ben Wood here from the BGS Groundhog team. In today's short video, which is the first in a series of videos, we're going to start to learn how to use Groundhog Community or Groundhog Professional to participate in the BGS Big Borehole Dig project. So here we have Groundhog loaded up, and I'm going to go ahead and open a map window. The first thing you need to do is decide where you're going to work. So I'm going to add this topographic base map. Let's change the opacity and use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom into your area of interest. It may take a moment for these maps to load as they're caching in from a third party web service. Zoom into the site level. Then click this button here, and what we're going to do is to add the Big Borehole Dig web map service. To find this, click in the search box, start typing big. You'll find it available here. Alternatively, go to the configure project option and under GB project, BGS map layers, you should have a checkbox here for Big Borehole Dig as well. And simply click apply. This web map service will show a series of purple dots. These are the locations of boreholes which are available to digitize as part of the Big Borehole Dig project. The first step is to explore the area and decide which boreholes you're going to code up. To explore the web map service, we make it active by clicking on it in the list panel. When it's active, it will be orange. And we can then perform a GIS style identify query on each location. So if I click on a point, the results of the identifier will appear here in this panel on the bottom right. And there are two key buttons here in this little toolbar. The first enables you to link out to the scan of the driller's log held by BGS. Take some time to look at these logs to decide which ones that you're going to code up. And at this point, it's important to note that you should always be working within a particular groundhog project for the big borehole dig on one real world project at a time, i.e. don't mix boreholes from different projects in the real world into the same project within a groundhog project. So back to groundhog, let's decide that we're going to work on this borehole. We need to bring that location into the workspace so that we can start to work on it. That's where this button here comes in. So this says start editing data at this location. If we click that, we should see a message that the borehole was added. And you can see a new borehole data set has been created in the data tree here with that borehole record there listed. And the borehole will also appear in the map window as well in a new layer called Big Borehole Dig Session. You can then just continue exploring the map clicking on locations and deciding which ones to add into your project. So each time you click, link out to check the scan to make sure it's one you're interested in digitizing and that it's part of the same project. And then hit the editing button to bring that location in. And that's step one of the Big Borehole Dig workflow using Groundhog. Watch the next video in the playlist to see how we then export this data so that we can start digitizing.